Hello, my friends. I am Marietta, and I welcome you to Marietta's Art Channel. I look forward to showing you how to use glass in epoxy resin to add diamond-like glamour texture and blue-green color and more to today's art piece. Let's go to my introduction, and I will further explain what today's video is all about. Today's commission piece will be placed in an entry. It will be the first piece of art that visitors will see. I want to create a feeling of welcome and elegance, as well as incorporate my client's favorite color, blue. She would like a light background with some bright colors, glass, and an element created by adding semi-precious stones to the mix. I'll allow my creative juices to flow and see what happens. Enjoy watching my art piece develop while you listen to the story. I appreciate you give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. It costs nothing and you will help my channel grow so I can spread the love of art to as many people as I can. Producing videos as I'm creating art is very new to me. Not only am I learning the art of filming and editing, but also causes me to prepare for creating each piece in a different and more organized standard. I think I've always known that I have to create a pretty clear picture of my art piece in my mind before I start the project. But I am finding that YouTube preparation is taking me to a new level. I am not the kind of artist that can just compose a piece without forethought. Maybe with time, I can learn to be creative and gain that freedom to roll a bit more. By doing research on a meaningful subject that relates to each new piece, allows me the creative space to grow and my imagination to better conceive the piece in my mind's eye. When I can picture the design and the color scheme in my head, and the meaning and feeling I want to communicate with my audience, I find I am more confident in achieving my goal, translating the vision in my head onto the canvas. I find commission work is even more intense and consuming. Not only do I desire to please my client, but also create the right mood and the feeling of the piece. I have to love the colors and the challenge the creative process brings to the table. It requires more focused energy without allowing distractions from the outside world. It is all consuming and I love that. It makes the world fade away and leaves me and the art piece to bond as one. As I gave thought as to understanding the color palette in this piece, I researched the color blue. I found that bringing in the color blue creates a mood and feeling not only in the recipient of the art piece, but also in myself as I immerse myself in the process of creation and composition. The knowledge inspires my creativity and gives my mind permission to literally flow with my thoughts and feel the freedom to let the art take me where it will. What about the color blue? Blue is the color of the sky and sea. It's often associated with death and stability. It symbolizes trust, loyalty, wisdom, confidence, intelligence, faith, truth, and heaven. Blue is considered beneficial to the mind and body. It slows human metabolism and produces a calming effect. Blue is strongly associated with tranquility and calmness. 
You can use blue to promote products and service related to cleanliness, such as water purification filters, cleaning liquids, vodka, air, and sky, such as airlines, airports, air conditioners, and water and sea, sea voyages, mineral water, as opposed to emotionally warm colors like red, orange, and yellow, blue is linked to consciousness and intellect. Use blue to suggest precision when promoting high-tech products. Blue is a masculine color. According to studies, it is highly accepted among men. Dark blue is associated with depth, expertise, and stability. It is their preferred color for corporate America. Avoid using blue when promoting food and cooking because blue suppresses appetite. When used together with warm colors like yellow or red, blue can create high impact. For example, blue, yellow, red is a perfect scheme for a superhero. Light blue is associated with health, healing, tranquility, understanding, and softness. Dark blue represents knowledge, power, integrity, and seriousness. According to color theory, even though blue is often associated with sadness, it is also used extensively to represent calmness and responsibility. Light blues can be refreshing and friendly. Dark blues are more strong and reliable. Blues associated also with peace and spiritual religious connotations in many cultures and traditions. The meaning of blue is widely affected depending on the exact shade and hue. And the design, the exact shade of blue you can select will have a huge impact on how your designs are perceived. Light blues are often relaxing and calming. Bright blues can be energizing and refreshing. Dark blue navy are excellent for corporate sites or designs with strength and reliability. For the most part, blue is the favorite color of all people. It's nature's color for water and sky, but rarely found in fruit and vegetables. Today, blue is thought of as the color of heaven and authority. Denim jeans and corporate logos. It is cold and wet as compared to reds, warms, fire, and intensity. Blue has more complex and contradictory meanings than any other color. These can be explained by pinpointing each specific shade of blue. Dark blue signifies trust dignity, intelligence, and authority. Bright blue signifies cleanliness, strength, dependability, and coolness. The origin of these meanings arise from the qualities of the ocean and inland waters, most of which are more tangible. Light is sky blue, signifies peace, serenity, spiritual, and infinity. The origin of these meanings is the intangible aspect of the sky. Most blues convey a sense of trust, loyalty, cleanliness, and understanding. On the other hand, blue has evolved as a symbol of depression in the American culture. Singing the blues and feeling blue are good examples of the complex of color symbolism and how it evolved in different cultures. The global meaning of the color blue are significantly similar. Blue is the number one favorite color of all people. 53% of the flags in the world contain blue. Blue is the most commonly used color in corporate identity. A dark blue suit is professional business attire. These blue jeans are worn all over the world. Aristocracy is blue-blooded in all European languages. 
What are the unique meanings of blue in different cultures? Greeks believe that blue wards off the evil eye. The English to feel blue has no equivalent in other languages. Dark blue is the color of mourning in Korea. The god Krishna has blue skin. Shades of blue are described as shallow or deep instead of light or dark in China. Blue is for a baby girl, pink is for a baby boy in Belgium. Prince Charming is called Blue Prince in Italy and Spain. Designing with blue. How do you do it? You cannot go wrong by designing with the blue color, which is a favorite of most people. However, blue can be overused and may wind up as a design cliche if used too much. Combining blue with another color inspires a more creative effect. It is interesting how blue affects vision. Blue is sharply reflected by the eyes. This can cause the lens to flatten and to push the blue image back. We perceive that blue areas are receding and smaller. The same reflection causes virtual fog if you use it excessively in interior spaces. Let's discuss some truths about the effects of blue. Blue has very few connections to taste or smell. Therefore, it may act as an appetite suppressant. As a sidebar, I'd like to mention the blue M&M story. Several years ago, the makers of M&Ms added a new color, blue. Blue? Although they reported that this was a result of M&M's fans' choices, it raises a few questions that it may be very well that it's the last color left in the bag after the novelty wears off. Of all the colors in the spectrum, blue is an appetite suppressant. Weight loss plans suggest putting your food on a blue plate. Or even better than that, put a blue light in your refrigerator and watch your munchies disappear. Dramatic results can also be achieved by using blue light bulb for your dining area. Why is blue an appetite suppressor? Blue food is a rare occurrence in nature. There are no leafy blue vegetables, no blue meats, and aside from blueberries and a few blue purple potatoes from remote spots on the globe, blue just doesn't exist in any significant quantity as a natural food source. Consequently, we don't have an automatic appetite response to blue. Furthermore, our primal voice of nature is that blue food is poisonous. One million years ago, when our earliest ancestors were foraging for food, blue, purple, and black color was a warning sign of potentially lethal food. Here is what food professionals have to say. Color and the appeal of various foods is also closely related. Just the sight of food fires neurons in the hypothalamus. Subjects presented food to eat in the dark reported a critically missing element for enjoyment any cuisine. The appearance of food for the sighted the eyes are the first place that must be convinced before a food is even tried. This means that some food products fail in the marketplace not because of bad taste, texture, or smell, but because the consumer never got that far. Colors are significant and almost universally it is difficult to get a customer to try a blue colored food. The more are being marketed for children these days. Greens, browns, reds, and several other colors are more generally acceptable, so they can vary by culture. The Japanese are renowned for their elaborate use of food colorings, some that would have difficulty getting approval by the Food and Drug Administration 
in the United States. Here is a question for you. With knowing what the color blue means to us in the world, supposing the color blue was removed from the world, specifically from the sky, what color would fill the void? Please comment below. I would love to hear from you and learn what you have to say. Enjoy watching the art creation and listen to the music for the rest of this video. I'm making this part of the video in my hall so that you can get a perspective of the size and the beauty of the piece. I'm also not using a light, so it's all natural light and I hope that you can see without so much reflection what this really looks like. Um, the depth of this piece is truly remarkable. The technique that I used was uh, basically putting some clear resin over uncured resin and it gave that zip to it, that just three-dimensional feel. And I hope you can see it in the close-ups and this piece. I'm gonna move this around because I'm not quite sure how the reflection works. And it's very hard to film resin and it's very hard to show it. You have to see it in person. So I hope this does it a little more justice.
I hope you enjoyed the story and perhaps learned something. To be chosen to create a commission or purchasing an art piece is the greatest compliment an artist can receive. For a client to choose my work to be displayed in their home and become a part of their daily ambience makes my heart sing. Thank you so much, Sandy and Jeff. I placed the links for the supplies in the description below, as well as a link to my art website, marietasart.com. I sell my art on my website, as well as many of the art pieces which I make on this YouTube channel. I also enjoy commission work and look forward to creating a special original piece of art just for you. You can contact me by emailing me through my website or comment down below. I appreciate you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Comment on my content and let me know what you would like to see me make in the future. So for now, happy arting, bardzo dziękuję, thank you for watching, until the next time.